We do, Byron. We have got a beautiful big kudu bull. And I'm so happy. I'm actually a little bit sad to be going on holiday just because we've only really been catching a couple of glimpses of some of these big kudu bulls and I'm hoping he's going to walk out of the bushes yes come boy he is magnificent his neck he doesn't even have a chin there's no different differentiating between his neck and his body his head and his body sorry it is so big and look at those oh look at his horns he's actually coming closer towards us now normally when we see kudu it's you usually have to zoom in from quite a distance they don't always seem to be so relaxed and particularly the big bulls but at this time of the year when they're at their healthiest after we've had the rains and they're very much interested in mating with the girls all the animals seem to be a lot more bold we see it with the wildebeest as well that he runs right past us the stallions do the same thing with the zebras and it's just just amazing i suppose we see that with humans as well when when the girls are around, and I'm going I'm to roll back because I think he might come down to have a drink of water. When the girls are around, they really do put on a big act. Oh, yes. Good boy. Good boy. Look at this. Hello, gorgeous. He is too going to come down for a drink. He is massive. That's okay. Look, 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 look. Look at him. He's got a bit of a spring in his step. Oh, now he's going into the mud. Look at this. Covering himself in mud. Oh, this is so funny. I haven't seen this behavior in such a long time. Now, often you'll see big bulls horning trees, horning mud, covering themselves in all sorts of types of vegetation. Look at this. I don't know when I last saw a kudu doing this. It's been ages. <laughs> oh boy, are you having a great time. This is too special. I hope that you're all getting some good screenshots. Try and get some as he flings the mud into the air. Oh, this, that's lovely. I suppose that's the equivalent of getting his hair done. Hey, he's changing color. He's gone from a brunette. He's going to get darker hair now. It's not his hair. It's his own. But look at him. He's putting all his strength in to cover himself. My favorite is actually when the, the earlunt do it. And they normally have bits of grass. And they almost look like they're wearing big heads of uh, big uh, wigs with leaves and grass and all sorts of other things. Impala are doing it lots at the moment. He's now got a couple of bits of grass. This is very cool. Come on, boy, continue. Everybody's loving the show that you're putting on. And isn't this what makes coming on safari worthwhile? Yes, we see kudu all the time, but we don't often get to see them doing this. Look at the size of his neck. It is huge. He is a beautiful specimen. He, he doesn't look particularly old. I think he's in the prime of his life now. So he's probably, a, I'm going to guess, and I would say somewhere between about six and eight years old his horns can still grow a little bit longer but they're quite long as is they're definitely about a meter if not even a bit more already not quite as big as the horns we saw the other afternoon uh, we had that one bull down at twin dams and he had a very wide splay of horns he's a bit tighter but he didn't put on a good show like this have a listen to the sounds that are being made as well as he sticks his head into the mud No, lovely. Now he's just going to have a drink. Oh, it's so funny. He's, it sounds like his horns are getting stuck in the mud, sort of making that that type of a noise. It was really quite funny. And the girls are watching him from the distance, thinking, what on earth are you doing? Are you putting on a show for that car? I thought you liked us. They actually look a bit disappointed in him and have left him now. That's fine. Kudu, we enjoyed your show. And if I was a female kudu, I'd be very impressed with you. But unfortunately, I'm not into male kudus. So sorry, boy. Now he walks away. Now he's got to go and fix the bond again with the girls that he's been working uh, with for, for probably a couple of days now. But what a spectacular show and what a beautiful animal. They really are impressive. And if any of you have ever seen them leap over a fence, wow. Makes show jumping horses look like ninnies now uh rebecca sorry can i have that question again 